most generational rivalries in the animal kingdom. Hey. Whoa, whoa. What you want to do? What you want to do? You scared? I ain't never been scared. You soft, good boy. You know how much generational hatred it takes to rather have an op alive and crippled than just dead and out the way? It's right, easy right. for us to forget, but for most animals, Damn. nature's a jihad from the jump. A gauntlet of grotesque. I ain't gonna lie, that pig probably, that, 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 that hog probably des deserved it, you feel me? Nuisance. Or if you die of old age, you're a spoiled minority. And with millions trying to survive at the same time, that can only lead to one thing, beef. And whether due to competition, an underdog finally biting back, or mm -hmm. just an animal choosing problems mm -hmm. over peace, you're gonna see that some animals have a genuine grudge sequence into their DNA. But why do turtles do that? What about turtles in black? Why is there a bunch of monkeys and gorillas on here? What are we doing? Yes, the, the, the therapy will be in the Discord, by the way. Two things real quick. One, this is technically a remake of an older video, but as a rule of thumb, anything with iPhone 8 quality or Apple headphones for a mic ah. should be disregarded. And two, while the facts shit, and things shit. might be true, you're gonna hear me anthropomorphize animals a lot in this video and treat them like humans. But at the end of the day, animals are just playing the cards they were dealt and doing what comes naturally to survive. That being said, hating each other with prejudice-laced passion is what comes naturally to these it's two. nature, Lions baby! and hyenas might have a beef more infamous and more on sight than Tom and Jerry. It's one that involves spawn killing, Jujutsu Kaisen level jumpings, calorie jacking, on both sides mind you, and the aforementioned handicapping. Lions and hyenas have generational beef that's been marinating for as long as they've been alive, and it's all thanks to the power struggle between an overgrown afro kitty and a maligned mongoose on steroids. In some places, lions- I ain't gonna lie, you a hyena, you hate them up too. If you a lion, you like what you hate me for, and you like get your get back. So like, I get it, Mr. Poopy, what up? And sit at the top, and in others, the Serengeti laugh tracks the dominant predator. Now I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I don't have a bias, but there are no good guys or bad guys. Both are apex predators that start off mm -hmm, life as mm -hmm. pint-sized cubs, just trying to survive the brutal RNG of life. Something I truly wish on none of you. Lord of the Beast ain't a game you want to play, but maybe Beast Lord is. Beast Lord: The New Land is an animal-themed strategy mobile game with not only vivid levels. Oh, this nigga, that's nice. They made a game called Beast Lord. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Or the new land using the link in the before. But what if I told you this feel of form family feud ain't even the So the turtles hate dark colors. Okay, baby, 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 baby. Are you joining the Discord? I don't have the bot set up on this stream, so you're gonna have to check the link of any of our YouTube videos, and it's the invite link should be there. The worst beef there it is. have to deal with. You lose tough ones when he it put takes it 10 for of you. you to press one of them. Nah, but the real roadblock to this panther's pursuit of happiness? The animal's so vindictive, folks nicknamed it Appreciate Black you. Death and Widowmaker. Cave buffalo stand on business, and they'll trap lions and trees for hours, and they'll even hit an Uno reverse and hunt the hunter. And with hers that can reach quadruple digits, they'll more than weaponize the power of friendship. Say what you Ty will, B. I've never seen I'll a hyena make a lion look like that. Not to mention they'll play keep away with a lion cub. And it's all thanks to mobbing. And mobbing's exactly what you see here, and it's fueled by the beef between a rogue's They done learn how to jump, niggas. What up, Iron Ninja? The animals done learn how to jump. Stealth assassin build without the bulk or squad advantage of I like it. hyenas. And a highly intelligent, like highly social tank of a primate. Divided baboons are leopard lunch meat. United and the leopard gets folded like an omelet. Oh you my know it's God. an iconic beef when the kids are involved, and both leopards and baboons will kidnap the young of each other. With leopards, some say it's a chess play to bait the baby's bigger, meatier parents. While baboons that's what have I enough do. foresight to cancel a cup before it can grow up into a problem. That's, that's what not... I do. That's what I do. It makes sense, though. I'm not gonna lie. When I first seen animals doing this, I was like, damn, that's, that's ruthless as hell. But it makes sense. If I'm a baboon, I don't want this leopard growing up, and his, he tastes good. Of course. That's the only theft they commit. Baboons are underrated predators that'll turn a gazelle baby shower into a homicide in a happy meal. Which means baboons aren't above pocket picking other predators. Which makes it wild hypocritical that the same malice monkeys will ruin leopard hunts with mm -hmm. an alarm mm -hmm. call to warn their prey. It takes a special level of hatred to bread petty. block a predator on the hunt. It's That's like how we petty. used to think humpback whales were the guardians of the sea for saving other animals from killer whales. Whole time it's an ancestrally traumatized cetacean going out of its way to interfere with orca hunts to make sure the zebras go home hungry. Mm. See, the whale killers will often burn baby whales, and the humpback hood does not let that slide. Mm. It ain't about saving the seal. It's because I hate you, and I want you to starve. Mm. Makes sense. Makes sense. And it's not just on sight. Any sense is an invitation. One time a pair of spite powered humpback sabotaged a group of orcas after a gray whale calf and proceeded to harass them for six hours straight. Seals, sunfish, and apparently even penguins have benefited from the beef. As the humpback motto states, no orca alive shall prosper. Yep, yep, yep. That's on pod. It might seem like the leopard gets grief religiously in this beef. Just know when the lights go out, it's a different story. In fact, it's the busted night vision and being the best tree climbing cat that makes it a bane to baboon. So I'd say it's pretty right. even. And if you're wondering what happened to him, he's fine. And the very next day, he was seen trying a trio of porcupine. So clearly oh, he his got risk away? calculator's broken. But at least baboons have numbers on their side against an athletically disrespectful. Bro, hold up. 
pretty even. And if you're wondering, he got away from all of the a hey, W man's. Hey, he don't got a skill issue. He don't got a skill issue. Nah, W leper. He got over. What happened to him? I'm out of here. Fine. And the very next day, he was seen trying a trio of porcupine. So clearly, his wrist calculator's broken. But at least baboons have numbers on their side against an athletically disrespectful team. Oh, Imagine having problems with the biggest cat on the planet and having to run that fade solo. The tiger's the death stroke of the cat world. Uh -oh. A walking census subtraction that'll take down gars, crocodiles, and tigers are on record eradicating elephants. Bro, biting through the back of a crocodile is insane. They even dare go after bears, including the most homicidal one oh, on wow. the planet. The sloth bear's got to be the most trigger happy of the bears, and it's all thanks to this it's, thing it's I just from made trauma. called the predator prey paradox. Yeah, it's from Basically, trauma. it means you're infinitely more fornicated in the fortune apartment if a moose presses you than if a bear, because with predators, you got to convince them you're worth the effort. But yep, an animal yep. that already gets hunted will turn you into a was before they take time to judge your intent. Real life Baloo often gets bodied by tigers and leopards. Also, most of their diet is insects, and the same claws that help them break into termite apartments right. means they can't just climb from the smoke like some of the bears. Which means what you got here is a high-strung insect eater with with predator hardware. It's like a giant honey badger and they're so unpredictable that folks actually fear them more than they do tigers. Not for no reason, because despite having a bigger population and a wider range, I get it. brown bears actually murk half the people this floppy faced anxiety attack does. But you see the thing with tigers. We learned that on the other video. Uh, we reacted to his bear video. Go check that out, second channel type shit. I don't know if it's out yet when I'm watching this. Is it out? Nah, it ain't out yet, but it's gonna be out before this, so uh, go check it out. <laughs> bears can make up to 5% of their diet and they usually target cubs or moms with cubs. The tiger trauma runs so deep that since tigers have been known to imitate sandbar deer while hunting right. them, sloth bears got pavloved into panicking at the sound of real deer. So what oh. you got here is a beef between a predator and prey that opts for fight over flight. Sloth bears will square up to a tiger head on, and the sheer balls of facing them can intimidate inexperienced tigers that don't know any Bro, better. like the ones that do. Like, I wonder what goes on in an animal's head. Like, I'm curious. Like, we speak in words and stuff. So, in our heads, words and stuff. Whatever language we may happen to speak. Like, what's going on in the head? Like, when it's time to go eat, or what's going on in the brain? of an animal, you know what I'm saying? Who prefer to catch them slipping at the termite mound, ambushing the sloth bear and going for its neck. Because once the sloth he has to grapple with a giant house cat, it's up for him. But even Same then, thing the equalizer of Asia better come correct, and sloth bears instinctively go for the face. And it's like, can, a losing effort can babies, can babies think, like obviously not infants, but like toddlers, that's like, they can't really talk yet. And they like think in the language that we talking to them. I don't, I, uh, uh, uh. Bear can cripple the tiger, especially when it's a mother ready to die about her baby. And I was not kidding, put the aggressive bull cut in the higher weight class and lions would have the same problems. And like any great beef, both sides have a healthy level of respect and yeah. fear, where sloth bears usually avoid tigers and tigers are generally All the beefs of normally make Meanwhile, sense. Meanwhile, the next beef has one animal literally praying they don't run into each other. 2020 had a lot of headlines, so many that right. you probably forgot the murder hornet subplot. Whoa. These were Asian giant hornets. Oh, and they I remember that. They are pretty much black Air Force energy in the form of a bug. Their stinger shot is the that beekeepers normally wear. And their finishing move literally involves decapitating their prey with their mandibles. Wow. In Japan, wow. these homicide hornets knock off 30 to 50 people a year. And it's not just people getting put on shirts. They also severely bully bees. And unlike bees, they can sting multiple times, can deliver 10 times the venom, are five times bigger, and are built uh, like a tiny armored fire uh, That's how murder hornets can uh, I see why they got the name. I see, I see where they got the name. I see where they got the name. I see where they got multiple times big as hell more venomous than ever oh I see how they the so when the asian hornet started popping up in the u.s people were understandably Ooh. shook and it was believed only one bug could stand up to the aerial assault the Ooh. praying mantis is straight up oppressive an ambush ah. hunter that has lizards frogs fish and even small birds on its body count they have wings but they rarely fly because in a world of okay. fight or flight they've been made their choice Right, in 2020, right, right, right. a video would go viral of a mantis murking a hornet, Damn! going for brain like a sapio. In the wild, it's a different story, and it's often hey, hornets that get caught packing up praying mantises. They're arguably the only- Yeah, I remember when Baki was fighting an invisible praying mantis. What are we doing, Baki? Invisible praying mantis. It's like that can give 10% of the Furious Five problems. But as you can see, a mantis won't miss a chance to settle the score, but who has the upper hand in his rivalry? Unfortunately, it might not be who you want. According right. to scientists, it's usually the mantis taking the L. So much oh. that mantises are actually a well-documented source of food for the hornets. Oh, and while the god-fearing no. kung fu roaches get their licks in when they can, pretty much everything has to go right for them to come out on top. But also, you peep out a terminator termite to ripped hear. off its legs before eating that it alive. Don't try hear. and tell me this ain't personal. The sad truth is, That's this hornet was personal. actually anesthetized before it got manhandled. They literally had to nerf the hornet to gift wrap a W for the mantis. Oh, the mantis no. might not be the answer against- Oh, it took his 
dome out. He took his dome out. Bundy bug, but damn it if they don't give them a fight. Hell, so do bees. The Sunny bees have been known to swarm an offending hornet and vibrate so oh, yeah, hard, yeah. Jump they that literally nigga. cook the wasp alive. Jump him. And while both bees and Jump mantises him. get their moments, this is the first beef to have human intervention. But it's not what? like the next beef, which what? was 100% caused by humans. The heaviest snake on the planet okay. is the green anaconda. Okay. And the second heaviest. Bro, I am so. T boy, hate is an understatement when it comes to snakes. Because, boy, if I'm ever find myself in a jungle for some odd reason, I come across an anaconda. I don't know what my body might do. It might defecate down the pant of my leg. Okay? Because, man, look at that. It's currently. You can blame snakes on a plane. You can blame the movie Anaconda. You can blame all of that. Bring all over Florida. The Burmese python can measure nearly 20 ah! feet long, weigh up to and over 200 pounds, and kills anything from dogs to deer Goodness to birds gracious. to bobcats. Normally, you'd have to go to Southeast Asia to see them, but thanks to Florida's fat. What? What are we doing? Deer to birds to bobcats. Normally, you'd have to go. What? How did it even get up there? That's all I want to know. How did Drake might be. We should ban you for that one. That's crazy. That's crazy. Go to Southeast Asia to see them. But thanks to Florida's fetish for fuckery, along with illegal pet releases, the, three of the same them. predator that puts the noose in nooses is now a legitimate part of the population. Pick it up. Women always want to tell you to do some shit that they can't do. Specifically a beetle. These ones. No, nah, hell no. Nah. It'd be all of them. Fuck it. I'm gonna tell you to do some shit that they wouldn't do. Why would I pick it up? You pick it up. Seen in the Everglades, predator that puts the noose in nuisance is now a legitimate part of the population. They were first seen in the Everglades in 1979. Today, they're hundreds of thousands. Whoa, strong. buddy. There's even Whoa, a theory that you're in 1992, bold. Florida folded to Hurricane Andrew, which right. leveled a python breeding facility and allowed them all to escape. Today, it's believed that for every one python that gets sighted, there's hundreds, if not up to a thousand, that don't. Mm. And with 30,000 sightings from 2008 to 2010, safe to say Florida's officially finding out the problem is back in burma they have tigers and leopards to keep them in check but here right. there's only one animal that can hope to stop them alligators are a prehistoric assault weapon and on the rare they've been known to murk cougars and black bears and as predators without prejudice they'll also feed on smaller snakes oh like i didn't know python. that i didn't know that is, once pythons get big enough they'll eventually oh, spin the block and cook gators oh, so now what you it. got is a sledgehammer god with damn it ah gators i thought y'all had the upper hand ah oh. Fudge. Teeth and a leather straight jacket in an arms race constantly trying to eat each other. And I'm still not doing the beef justice. When the bane of Burma swallows an alligator, Ooh. its body goes into overdrive. Ooh. Its heart rate increases, organs like its heart, kidneys, and liver all get bigger, and its Ooh. metabolism hits another gear. Not only can a python digest a whole alligator in Ooh. only a week, if Dr. Steven Sikor of the University of Alabama is right, it actually takes less energy for them to down a gator than other options like rats or pigeons. I bet you think that's metal. Wait till you hear oh. what he pulls. Cause pythons will actually read their victim's heart rate while squeezing them to death, so they know when to what? stop. Problem what? is, alligators can slow their heart rate all the way down to two to three oh. beats a minute. This means the snake can end up calling it too soon and prematurely start- Oh, they can! That's how they hibernate! W, uh, 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 what you call it? Counter. Swallowing the gator alive, only for it to struggle hard enough to bust through the snake yep. like a messed up jack in the box. Yep. Well, they both died, but nothing says beef more oh. than if I'm going Damn, Damn, let's believe death taking this yeah, two yeah, for I'm one. Gonna take you That's with how me. ugly competition can get. Taking you with me. the other side. For sure. Foxes and owls have no love loss, and it's for the classic reason of them pretty much having the same grocery list. Also, foxes will swipe owl chicks, and some owls, like the Ooh. eagle owl, will murk them right back. Okay, this okay, is okay. the owl and the arctic fox that run into each other the most, especially with the white air force building nests on the ground, and foxes being willing to steal from anyone. Most of the time, though, it's a- This reminds me. I just watched a movie called the mother right jennifer lopez she's a mother she's been in the army she's trained you know what i'm saying she's trying to protect her daughter type beat they came for her in the snow she's fighting the bad guy and the bad guy's henchman in the snow uh we still waiting on symbol this bitch put on all black to fight henchmen in the snow what are we doing a lot of this a lot that's of that's steve harvey it might be me back whether it's an owl fox feud or a reptile dysfunction, most animal rivalries just start with them trying to put food on their plate. But what about a of beef course. between animals working together? Octopus will straight up deck fish oh in my the face. God. According to science, it's a case of workplace assault. Octopus and fish like groupers often team up to hunt since the octopus right, can right. chase prey through coral crevices. And if the prey tries to do the race in open water, they the get fish got get the grouper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, in a partnership, someone's bound to get shorted. And two, octopus are smart enough to hold grudges and just do stuff out of spite. An octopus named Truman decides. Ah, that's what you get.
That's what you get. She was trying to eat the octopus alive. That's what she get. Better cook that nigga. He wasn't rocking with one of the researchers, so every time he'd see her, he'd give her the old siphon salt water shower. Eventually, she would go off to college and then come back months later to visit him. Petty. At that point, Truman hadn't been on disrespectful timing in a minute. Yeah, that streak ended the moment he saw her, as he super soaked her on sight. He did it so again. So that feel like they're getting cheated in a partnership Damn. are much more likely to get punchy. Sometimes they'll lash out just to keep the fish in line. And sometimes if oh. an octopus got backdoored in oh. the past, they'll just project it all over a new fish that didn't even do anything. Bro, and since octopus they moving that fast in the water. Octopus can hunt with several wow. fish at a time. They'll even get petty and ban the offender from the entire hunting party. Yeah, don't come here no more. Of embezzlement. Don't That's come here no more. One of the worst things to beef with is intelligence. Just uh -huh. ask coyotes. Since ravens and coyotes often end up scavenging for the same scraps, especially when they belong to wolves. But of course, the generational instigator, the raven, will straight up snitch on coyotes trying to pinch off the wolf pack. Uh, while Wally's running for his life, what does the they raven do but in. fly directly over him yep. like a helicopter during a police oh, chase? Damn, Imagine mind. getting violated by a wolf pack. All because a goth Tweety put a hit oh. out. Last thing you want to oh. do is make enemies <laughs> with an animal smart enough to do something about it. Something a city in South hey, Africa. I mess with it. I mess with it. I mess with it. I not only am I going to snitch, I'm going to tease you while you getting got. The hard way. Because Cape Town's currently being overrun by damn. baboons. And like most things, it's our fault. Because no matter what you tell them, there's right. always going to be tourists feeding panhandling primates. Right. Well, the issue is baboon society runs on bullying, where dominant monkeys will basically steal the lunch money of lower ranks. So not only do baboons not fear humans, but because people kept feeding them, a lot of them they see all humans yeah. as low ranks and treat them like it. And Damn. they've gotten OD disrespectful about it. Cape Town Damn. baboons have been known to break into houses to raid fridges. They'll mug small children, and you can even get carjacked by a whole troop. Thanks to the Cape Nature Conservation Laws Amendment Act, it's illegal to feed, trap, poison, or kill the monkey's meat. What? Why? I thought it was a problem. These habitual line steppers are above the law. In 2011, a man went to court over shooting a baboon after he said eight of them broke into his kitchen and started attacking what? him and his wife. But with thug monkeys also stealing crops, some people said f*** it and started fighting back. And not only do the monkeys end up getting hurt or murked, it only makes the baboons lash out even harder. That's not the dental of an animal you want problem. Bro, we can't overrun us and we can't do nothing? What? Hey, tweaking. But at the end of the day, the baboons are just doing what comes naturally and they wouldn't even they have to break be it on in the house, bro. They build a city on their front lawn. Plus, a baboon can go through your trash can and find more nutrition in 30 seconds than it would in six hours of foraging so we can't be mad at them for working smarter all we hey bro go in the trash do all that don't you stay out the house leave me alone do is what every other animal in this video already does and just find a way to deal with it even if it means this a bad fool on top of the pass. car bro but that's gonna do it for this video make sure you drink water hug your oh, mother he's tweaking yo for real stop trying these he's monkeys, tweaking man. i promise you won't like how that story ends and yeah, i'm gonna nah. see y'all in the next one leave the monkeys alone leave them alone dude. what we doing